Hello, it's Rachel and I'm here for my February update. I've done quite a lot of stitching in the last couple of weeks because I think my last update was maybe the first or second week of February. And that is largely due to the fact that I joined the Facebook group um, Magical Stitches and Literature. If you're unfamiliar with that, I will leave a link in the video description. But if you are a regular viewer of Floss Tube videos, you've probably heard about it already. That's how I came across it. And it's quite addictive and really enjoyable and I've made a lot of progress in the last couple of weeks. I've got a couple of new starts as well because of that group and um, yeah, I've stitched nearly 9,000 stitches um, since my last update. So in maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that, which is excellent for me. I did have a week off work for midterm break so that was obviously really helpful in that on work days it's, yeah not as you know not as much gets done but i have been stitching um for maybe half an hour to an hour in the morning before work and then doing the best i can when i get home which obviously you're quite tired when you've been at work all day so i don't tend to get too much done but i have stitched every single day and making a huge amount of progress mostly because i'm motivated to um, complete all the challenges in those groups. So the first piece I worked on then, I mentioned this um, at the end of my last video, that I was going to carry on with uh, this piece, which is Dimensions 12 Days of Christmas. I'd finished the first three and I was working on the cardinal. So I got the cardinal completely finished. Um, you can see them there. And I also did all the holly and the back stitch and I added beads instead of the French knots. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see those that well. But I used used some Mill Hill beads for those. This is what it will look like when it's finished. And the beads are uh, Mill Hill 02013 and I chose those I did buy a couple of different packets and I wanted to see which red would be the closest to that red floss because um, that is what should have been used for the back stitch uh, not back stitch French knots so that's my first project that I worked on the next one is a new start. I talked about it on my 2019 plans that this is something that I would like to start this year. It is another Dimensions. This is Kitty Litter. And I started this one because of a Magical Stitches um, homework assignment, which was that you needed to work on something with a cat. And it's not much to look at right now although this took quite a while. Um, why it's taken so long is all this background here is five strands of floss and it is quite difficult to push the needle through. The fabric is 18 count Ada and it's given me a little bit of a hard time. It gets a little bit painful after a while on your fingers um, trying to force the needle through and back again with five strands. So it's a little bit of a, a slow one. Um, I used it for another assignment as well. Um, I can't remember which one it was. There was one where you had to work on something that was sluggish. Um, it could have been that one or another one. It's definitely sluggish. Um, because it does make my fingers sore so I tend to put one strand in and then take a break and then not really want to stitch on it for a little while and then go back to it. Um, that's, I think it's going to take a long time overall because all this, this is the section of background I'm working on, it's kind of three quarters the way down the pattern and it's all five strands but as it goes across where it lightens up that is four strands and then I think this is three strands and then two strands and possibly one strand right at the end of there and then I think most of the kittens and the wool and the baskets are the regular two strands so once I get to that 
it's going to be a lot more enjoyable to stitch on but right now it's a little bit painful and slow um next one is Marjolaine Baston's um, Four Seasons collage. I had done, um, I've not worked on it yet this year until the last couple of weeks, but I had done all the top part down to the bench. I'd done the words of her name. Um, and then I'd started, or I'd done the little um, horse chestnuts there as well. And I started the toadstool and that's where I left off. So again, I use this one for challenges on magical stitches. And I managed to get the toadstool completely done and the um, oak leaves and the lake on there. And I also started on the squirrel. And he sat on a broom. So I've got that started, but not finished yet. But I will be coming back to that for the March and April challenges and the extra credit challenges because one of them I think asks for something with borders so that would fit um, and I think there's another one as well but and I'm also going to use it there's something called the ultimate challenge stitching challenge on the group which you've got all year to complete 22 challenges but for each challenge it's a thousand stitches a time so I'm going to use that for maybe two or three of those and hopefully it will be getting finished this year because there's not too much to go. Uh, next one then, this is one you haven't seen, it was a UFO and it's been restarted. So this is called Woodland Alphabet, it's a kit by Jamlin that I have restarted. It was on Ada and it's now on 28 count even weave. And I've done the little flowers on the border and the blue part of the border probably two years ago and I put it down. And the reason for that, I think at the time I'd only stitched maybe two pieces. And when I picked this one up, it was so full of fractionals. I would say it's maybe almost 50% fractional stitches. And I was not that keen on doing those at the time. Anyway, I picked it up again because one of the homeworks, I think, or maybe extra credit, I don't remember which, but it asked you to work on something that had been restarted. So this is a piece that had been restarted because it was originally on Ada and I don't know how anybody could stitch it on Ada with all those um, fractionals. This is what it will look like when it's finished. So it's all little woodland alpha, no, <laughs> start again. It's all little woodland animals um, around each letter of the alphabet and then the border. So it's a nice design, um, it's just so, so many fractional stitches, I'm not sure all of them are 100% necessary, but that's how it's charted, so that is how I'm going to stitch it. And then the next piece I've worked on, this is the first time it's been out this year, is another Dimensions, this is Wreath of All Seasons. And for this one, I had done a, I'd done the word summer, um, the part, most of the word winter except for the W was incomplete, I don't know why, I must have just run out of threads and then not gone back to it, stitched something else. I'd done the top dragonfly and a small portion of this. And... Let me find that one. This one has had, again, due to the challenges on magical stitches, um, over a thousand stitches put into it. Well over a thousand, probably maybe two thousand, maybe not that much. But I did do a thousand stitches 
for one of the ultimate challenges. So I know there's at least a thousand and I've used it. Well, I used it this morning for 150 stitches um, and I've used it maybe for one or two other challenges. So they're usually 200 or 500 stitches um, required a time. So I'm really pleased with this. And I did all the back stitching around the um, cherries and leaves because that wasn't done um, before I picked it up again. And I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully um, that will make some good progress too. I have got it marked up for several other challenges. And then the last one is another new start. Again, this is a piece that I talked about on my 2019 plans. It is this one here, which is Soda Stitch Pasta Time. And I started that um, earlier this week, I think. Maybe last weekend. Maybe a week ago last weekend, probably. And here it is. So I've done quite a lot on this. It looks really nice once the back stitch is in. So the bottle and the wine glass um, is obviously back stitched. The banner and the cutlery are not yet back stitched, and the reason for that is one of the extra credit homeworks for this month is that you need to um, stitch 500 stitches with DMC 310. And I think that is the only project with any DMC 310, and it's all back stitch. And backstitch only counts as half a stitch because you're doing the equivalent of half a, a leg of a full cross. So I'm going to need to put a thousand backstitches in, I think, which won't be a problem because everything is backstitched except the corner motifs. So the banner is ready to backstitch, the cutlery. Um, I just have a, a few stitches on the end, well maybe, I say a few, probably about a hundred. Um, and then all that can be back stitched. And then all the, I'll be ready to stitch the different types of pasta, um, all of which are back stitched. So I shouldn't have a problem getting my stitches in for that. Um, yeah, so that's the, um, I'm just looking at my list now because I wrote down the extra credit pieces. That's the first extra credit piece, 500 stitches or a thousand back stitches. The next one is something that is designed in or before the 1990s. I've got two choices. I can do the Woodland Alphabet, which says 1994 on the packaging, or My Lady's Garden, I think is 1995. So... Both of those are in the 90s. Maybe I should work on My Lady's Garden because it hasn't been picked up for a while. Um, 500 stitches in a project that betrayed you. I'm thinking, well, Kitty Litter is betraying me because of those five strands. Um, or the Woodland Alphabet um, would fit as well because of all those fractional stitches. It definitely doesn't look like it's as complex as uh, it is. So that would fit. The frames and borders one I've already mentioned. I'll probably do the margin and basking four seasons piece. Alternatively, the twelve days piece would fit because it's box. I think it's frames or borders, um, but that's all in boxes, so that would fit too. Then something that makes you think of crystal balls. I'm struggling to find a connection with any of my current projects. The only one that could fit that possibly is fairy guide because it's all sparkly and metallic um and i guess that could remind you of crystal balls but i do have another project that is kitted up that's from a magazine that is a christmas ornament um so the obviously shaped spherical like a crystal ball and i've picked some um, opal fabric or crystal fabric to stitch that on so maybe that's another new start um, 
this is me that says I don't really want to go above six projects at a time. I think I've now got eight, but I'm, you know, I'm happy enough doing them right now. And I like the fact that I'm changing projects quite regularly for these challenges, which is something I never thought I would like. I tend to want to stitch on the same thing for maybe a week and then switch, but I am enjoying it. So possibly new start for that one. Something that makes you happy, well, that any any project will fit that. So I think I'll do that one last and then decide what what is calling me. Um, set in another part of the world. This kind of might be a stretch, but I was thinking so to stitch pasta time because pasta's from Italy. So clearly it's set in Italy, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's the best I've got. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, Anything map related is the next one, or street stroke town related. I don't have anything with a street on currently, or a town, or a house. So that may be another new start. I have a project called Morning Calm um, that's kind of a harbour scene with houses in the background on a street, so that would fit. And it's not that big either, I think it's like 8x8, eight eight, so... I might do that one. Then stitch on an stitch on an extra credit piece twice from it has to be from this list. Um, the alternative to that was stitch something you'd missed in a challenge, but because I've only been part of the group for two weeks, I haven't yet missed anything. I've done all the challenges, so that was the alternative. Stitch something again from this list. Um, I can decide on anything for that one. Then two hundred stitches on something that sucks the life out of you. That possibly will be kitty litter because of the five strands of floss and how much pain it causes in my fingers and then the last one is watch prisoner of azkaban and stitch something and post your progress before and after so that is everything i'm super pleased with all the stitching i've done the fact that i've worked on so many projects so i've had a little bit more to um, show you this time and I do feel like I'm making a lot of progress, even if it's just 200 stitches here and there. I think when you're actually counting your stitches, which I've never really done before, um, you actually realise how many stitches you're getting in, even if the photographs you know, don't really look like you've done anything. Um, having that number there makes you, you know, realise how many stitches are in a project and how much um, effort has to go into each project that you complete. So I will leave it there. I'm wanting to get on with my stitching um, and see what I can get done. I'm just about to work on the extra credit pieces and I will see you again shortly. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.